Hi, my name is Tom. Today I will share with you what is Threat Oriented Person Screening Integrated System, Top Sys. Security programs commonly focus on integrating people, processes and technologies, collectively known as the Physical Protection System, to protect organizations' assets against identified threats. While we can implement security technologies like CCTV cameras, video analytics, card access systems, patrol robots etc. and deploy many security personnel, it is very difficult to provide 100% security coverage and protection. Security personnel cannot be everywhere all the time. It is not possible to install cameras and sensors at every single spot within the building. Many companies implement security awareness program to raise the security alertness of their employees, contractors, and stakeholders. These security awareness programs have measurable success and contribute to the effectiveness of the organization's security program. Most security awareness programs are implemented using basic strategies like communicating security messages using posters, email reminders, e-learning modules, etc. It is a good program, but more can be done. How to improve the organization's security program. The Center for Protective Security, a department under the Singapore Police Force, designed a protective security framework that includes the components of the PPS and a top CIS program to enhance the organization's security program. This is an extract of the protective security framework. The top CIS program was originally conceptualized in 2007 and progressively rolled out at the Singapore's border checkpoints since 2009, with the aim of providing a more structured and comprehensive framework for traveler screening. As security personnel at these checkpoints cannot be everywhere all the time, it is important for non-security community to add to the sense of vigilance. The non-security community provides additional eyes and ears on the ground which in turn improves the chances of detection of threats. Both security and non-security communities are trained to detect telltale indicators of suspicious behaviors. Non-security personnel report suspicious persons to the security personnel for follow-up investigation. Top CIS was reportedly a successful security enhancement program at the checkpoints. In 2018, the government extended the outreach to implement top CIS to inland locations, including critical infrastructure and buildings with high human traffic. The initial top CIS, also known as top CIS 1.0, program was renamed to Threat Oriented Person Screening Integrated System, also known as top CIS 2.0, replacing the word passenger with person to reflect the widened scope of the program. There are three key top CIS components. First, telltale indicators detection. The detection of suspicious behaviors by non-security staff. The tacit knowledge, referring to the familiarity of their work area that these non-security staff have enables them to detect behaviors that are suspicious, irregular, abnormal or unusual. Second, involve all communities at multiple layers. Both security and non-security communities are involved. The non-security community provides additional eyes and ears on the ground which in turn improves the chances of detecting threats. Third, effective use of existing technology. Non-security personnel report suspicious person to the security personnel who will conduct security questioning and or use security technologies to aid them in the investigation. The approach is to subject suspicious person, rather than all persons to enhanced security screening. To ensure the top CIS program is built to last, the organization should plant the three roots to cultivate the top CIS culture. The three roots are, recognize, train security and non-security community on how to recognize TTIs on an ongoing basis. All new personnel should be trained, and existing personnel should be retrained. There are two key steps in recognizing TTIs, establish baseline and scan for TTIs. Report establish a reporting system. All personnel should know who and how to report suspicious behavior. Resolve. Establish the process for the responding security team to resolve the suspicion. Train the security personnel on security questioning techniques and also use of security screening equipment, if required. Let us now recap what has been covered by answering the following questions.
The answer to this question is. Recognize, report and resolve. Get ready for the next question. The answer to this question is security audits. Did you answer both questions correctly? Top SIS is more than a security awareness program. It requires careful and detailed planning to implement an effective top SIS program at the workplace. Every organization has different work environment and are faced with different threats. Hence a customized top SIS framework should be developed for the organization. If you require further information about the top SIS program, please send your queries to admin at security40.com.